Hey guys, Pixar Prime 10 back at you with another video review. This time, as you can see, we are taking a look at the Transformers Prime Cyberverse Legion Class Bumblebee, the Intelligence Specialist. What? What? <laughs> so, uh, is obviously all these very small Cyberverse figures. I'm a little late with these reviews. Uh, obviously, Bumblebee right there in his bubble with his, uh, Blaster, which looks really kind of big. Uh, I really do like how on these Cyberverse packaging, if it's an Autobot, they do the Autobots for the Decepticon. They do the Decepticons, and this one's already ripped. Transformers Collector Club, go ahead, join if you want. Uh, we got his technical data here on the side. You can see his strength is a 6, intelligence is an 8, speed is an 8, endurance is a 7, rank is a 7, courage is a 10. I love that. Fireboss 6, skill 6. Autobot lines, really nice picture of Bumblebee, Legion class. On the back, you can see he, we've got a read up of his biography. Bumblebee doesn't need to talk. His blasters do all the talking he needs. He is fast, smart, and skilled, which means that the Decepticons have nowhere to run when Bumblebee is on their tails. Very nice. Bumblebee, Intelligence Specialist, Legion class, Series 2, figure number 1. And, uh, he's got an easy, easy conversion level of. One, see the Autobots there with the Decepticons there. Very nice. Join us online, Transformers.com, Facebook, YouTube, and you're probably watching this on YouTube. If you're not, I don't know where you're watching it. Hasbro. So really nice. So uh, all right, let's open this guy up and see if he is more than meets the eye. All right, guys. So here we have the Transformers Prime Cyberverse Legion class Bumblebee opened up and out of its packaging. Now, uh, one thing I actually neglected to mention that is on the packaging, it says that there's a file card included. And what they mean by that, on the side of the packaging, remember, this is where I read the text back. As you can see, there's just a dotted line where you can just rip this out, and it's called a file card. And I actually do like keeping these. I think it's, it, it kind of adds to maybe the collectability or the nostalgia, maybe, of these figures. So, I'm going to keep these. It's just the piece of cardboard that came in the packaging. I mean... Here's the thing, I just ripped it right off the side of this thing. So, yeah, I mean, nothing special, but it's kind of a nice piece to have, so I'm just going to keep that. But onto the Bumblebee figure itself, uh, obviously I have him in his vehicle mode. Uh, really nice representation of Bumblebee from Transformers Prime, I have to say. Uh, he's, he only comes with one of his blasters, which, not only is that, that uh, one negative, he's lopsided, but uh, it's red, so... And I, all these Cyberverse figure weapons are see-through in a color, so whatever. But he's got pegs everywhere. He's got he's got two pegs on here, so you can peg it in about one, two, three, four, five, six different ways. You can peg it on to the side. Although well, he'll still roll. Well, I don't wonder why that looks like down. Like that, like that, like that. My favorite happens to be like that. I just think it looks more even. I guess maybe I'm symmetrical. And it's not actually as hard as a plastic as you would think. It's actually kind of like a soft. It's durable. I might have just broken it. But it's very, like, very soft, bendy. Uh, setting that aside, uh, obviously we got the nice silver engine. Very puzzly on the top. That doesn't really bother me. Uh, nice pinstripes. Nice silver metallic headlights. I really like that. See-through grill. That's also very nice. And nice Autobot logo, which you probably... Yeah, you probably cannot see that, but whatever. So, nice reflective gray windshield. Uh, I really like this figure. So, let's get to transforming him. So what you want to do first is just pull these out to the side. All right. Yep. Urgh. This can be so hard to do sometimes. All right, so once you unpeg those, what you want to do is kind of, I guess, bring the waist down, and then as you can see that, not really automorphs, but kind of brings his head down, so that's really nice. Just unpeg the legs, hold down the feet. Oy. And then uh, you just got to pull down these arms here. Pull down these, oh, I think this would come out, arms here, and then here of the Transformers Prime Cyberverse Bumblebee Legion class in his robot mode. Now, 
the robot mode is very nice. It's le it's cyberverse, so you're not gonna be expecting anything spectacular. But he does look a little bit gumpy. I will say that. Like his chest is a little big. His head sits down a little well, and his wings aren't as nice as I expect them to be. Cause you know his, the windows that or doors that she actually make the wings are on his arms. So, but I like how they were still able to incorporate that. Uh, this doesn't really peg in. That's kind of a, a minus. But you know it doesn't really bother me. Well, eh, you can kind of hear a click. Yeah, you can kind of hear a click. Uh, no, nothing really spectacular with his legs. <laughs> nice representation, though. With articulation, his head does absolutely nothing. Shoulders are on ball joints. Uh, the hips are on ball joints. And then, uh, do they? No, I thought they bent the knee, but they don't. Because of the transformation, you get some both-way pivot in his feet, which is really nice. Now, just setting him into the back, you can see we have his... Oop. We have his blaster, so you can just come to his arm, and uh, the roof is now here, so you can store it back here. So that's kind of cool, and then you can just obviously peg it onto his arm like we see in the show, so, to make it more accurate. But it is really big. I don't understand why a lot of these cyberverse weapons, oh, excuse me, I don't understand why a lot of these cyberverse weapons are so big. Uh, oh. Maybe the Autobots got, like, an upgrade or something. I don't know. But really nice. Uh, I think it's a very nice figure. Uh, I think I've, I've always loved the idea of the Cyberverse line if you can't afford the bigger figures. And these even comes with sets. We got the Star Hammer or Jack Hammer and then the uh, Energon Driller with Real Jack and Knockout. And I'll be reviewing those soon, so stay tuned. <laughs> so, you know, I, th I think it's really nice that we have a, a smaller line of Transformers. That, you know, you're getting mostly all the main characters, so it's a very nice line to have in, you know, the Transformers Prime Universe line, toy line. So, yeah. Nice looking figure. Uh, transform back, what you want to do is just peg this section together and then bring these feet down like so. And then that kind of pegs into that roof area. And then bring that up like so. Take these arms. And then there's little tabs... But that has to go into, if you can see that. Don't know if you can. Yeah, you can just take those, push those up and in, and that brings out the tires so they're straight. They bumble back in his vehicle mode. Really nice figure. Uh, It's not like a lot of those old legend figures we used to have with, like, movie or whatever, where they looked really, really just bad and awful looking. These actually, the Cyberverse figures, I really like them. I think it's a very nice line of Transformers. So, without a doubt, I can definitely recommend picking this guy up. Especially if you can't collect the bigger figures. These are very nice to have. So, oop, and I just threw them. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This was my review of the Transformers Prime Cyberverse Legion Class Bumblebee. I'll see you next time.